Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn IT with Venkat. Today's video I will discuss with you about how to make email and SMS alert notification if temperature exceeds the threshold value for temperature monitoring system using Raspberry Pi and DHT11 sensor. We will see how to do it. So these are the devices needed. Here we have a Raspberry Pi 3 and followed by Group Pi board and this is the temperature sensor which we are going to use it for this scenario. This has to be connected with the wire here. We have a jumper wire, four wires tagged here. And uh, this group A board have to fix it over the Raspberry Pi and sensor connected with any of these board using that jumper wires. Now we will do the connections. So first uh, we have to take the Raspberry Pi and we have to connect that with the group A board. Here we have a GPIO pin and uh, at the top of group A you can see many ports at the bottom we have a pin slot for connecting that board with the GPIO pins of Raspberry Pi. So we have to connect it like this, press it and hold it tightly then it will become a single board. Now you can see connected very tightly and now we can connect the sensor using this wire we have four pins slat this wire is tagged with four pins so just plug and play no need of breadboard here so just connect one end of that wire with the sensor and another end to that group i board so if you look at this group i board you can see many digital pins here d2 d3 d4 d6 7 and 8 so we can use any digital port i am going to use it in the d2 we have to install group a package that link i have given at the bottom description now we will give you a power my raspberry pi connector now using cisco pl app with the ip address 192.168.137.181 so connect it it will open in the browser here i have to give the password of my raspberry pi so this is that page here i have a folder so here i have written the program in python for this scenario so open this so it starts with importing the packages first import smtp lib which is the library file this package is used for sending an email how to install this package and what are the basic configuration we have to do that i have already done it in my previous video that link also given in the description you please refer that without installing this package you can't import this smtp lib here and followed by that another package from twu.rest importing the class client so this twu is also a package so this also we have to install it before we using it in the program so how to install this how to create an account in twu.com that also i have already done a video that is also given in the description please refer that one also and followed by that import group by in this uh, scenario we are using group by board this package also we have to install it how to install this in your raspberry pi that also i have already done the link is given in the description you please refer it so once you install these three packages smtp lib tvlio and group by then only you can import those things inside the program and followed by that here from group by import star all the classes and methods here and import time for time delay inside the program i have used a sleep command next to that uh, here we have two variables one is the dht sensor port and dht sensor type sensor port which is a port number where the dht sensor connected in the group i board so here i have connected that sensor in digital port 2 in the group i board so here i initialize that variable as 2 and followed by the type of that sensor actually group i is providing two type of uh, temperature sensor one is in blue color and another one is in white color in this scenario i am using blue color sensor so if it is blue color i have to initialize that variable as zero so here i initialize it as zero if it is white color we have to give it as one so followed by that here uh, we have to initialize that email id so smtp user is our email id so here you have to give your email id from where you have to send an email and followed by that you have to give the password here and uh, to address to whom you have to send it also you have to initialize here in the variable to add let it be the administrator's email id or uh, that person to whom you want to send it and uh, from address is the smtp user which we have already initialized before so this variable i am going to assign it here and while true 
this will iterate infinite number of times inside that first i am reading the temperature of my raspberry pi board which is actually stored in this file path sys class thermal thermal underscore zone zero slash temp so i am opening that file path and reading that value which is going to be the temperature of raspberry pi board and next to that uh, by using the dht function by accepting two parameters one is the dht sensor port which we have initialized as two and uh, dht sensor type which we have initialized before as zero so this value i am passing here and uh, this function is going to return two values one is the temperature value and another one is the humidity value so here i used the list of python to receive that values next to that here i have email services so yes is an object equal to smtp lib dot smtp of here is the mail server which here i am using gmail so smtp dot gmail dot com like this we will have it for yahoo and uh, outlook so we have to for which email we are using that email server service we have to copy and paste it here followed by the port number 587 and here the subject of my email is going to be temperature alert notification and header variable is going to have two tag followed by my two address and a new line and from tag followed by my from address and a subject tag followed by the subject which we have initialized before here and body tag which is the email content so here i am sending a notification message temperature is above threshold value which is room temperature is greater than 25 degree here we can use 28 degree because i have checked a condition for 28 degree only so if the room temperature is greater than 28 degree or the raspberry pi board temperature is greater than 50 degree so that is the message i have to send as a notification and here i am printing that in the terminal window room temperature is what followed by the temperature variable here and followed by that room humidity is what that is followed by the variable here so the next is going to be the time delay for one second and next uh, that raspberry pi board temperature is rpa temp which we are receiving it here that i am printing it in the terminal window and time delay for one second followed by that here i am printing the header so which is going to be this information if it is an email and followed by that the condition checking so here i am checking the condition if temperature is greater than 28 or that raspberry pi board's temperature is greater than 50 if any one condition is true this block of coding will execute so after that if this is the condition i have to send an email and sms so this portion is for email and this portion is for sms so for email here first i starts with the s object which we have created before for connection establishment so s dot e h l o which is a hello of getting a connection with the email services followed by that s dot start tls which is used for establishing the secure connection with the email server and again s dot e h l o for synchronization once these three done i have to log in so s dot login is the method by using my username and my password followed by that if it is successful i am printing the message here email server login successful and once it is successful i have to send an email so yes object dot send mail of from address to address header and followed by body so this will send uh, an email followed by that print here i am just giving the confirmation email alert sent successfully for the user notification in the terminal window once email sent successfully here i am going to quit that connection by using that object s dot quit and for the sms here uh, we have to create an account in twio.com so once you have created an account here i will show you so this is your dashboard of your twio.com once you have created an account so this is your trial number by using this only we have to send a message and here we have a account sid this we have to copy and authentication token here you have to click so and you have to copy the token so these two needed so if you go here uh, i copied and pasted it in that variable account sid and authentication token and the client is the object here client of is the class and passing a parameter this account sid and token and using the object message equal to this client.api.account.messages.create of 
so to which phone number you have to send it here you have to type it and from this is going to be the number trial number given by tvlio.com so this number is the source number and two is the recipient number and followed by the body what is the message of your sms so sms message is going to be temperature is above threshold that is my message and after this time dot sleep for one second again that loop will iterate this while loop will iterate so this is about the program that's it we will execute this go back here having a terminal open it so first go into that folder email and sms so ls this is a file so here i am going to run python space temperature alert email sms dot py and uh, giving enter so my room temperature is 28 so when it is going to be above threshold see here my room temperature is 30 so it sent an email here email sent successfully let me check with my email and uh, raspberry pi board is 48 okay let me check whether uh, email alert sent or not so control is it and i am going to check sms also yes now you can see i got three alerts if you see the terminal window here you can see email alert sent successfully because the temperature is above 28 degree so here i got an uh, email alert temperature alert notification so if you go inside this is my body and this is my subject so temperature is above threshold value room temperature is greater than 28 degree or raspberry pi temperature is greater than 50 so email is successful let me check with my sms in my phone yes now you can see i got an sms from that tvlio trial number temperature is above threshold is the message i received it from that trial account so both success now like this you can real time scenario for email and sms alert notification for temperature hope you understand thanks for watching if you like this video share with your friends and subscribe this channel for getting more video updates bye bye